Hello, my name is Will Nichols, and I'm here to talk to you today about the research I did in the fall of 2021 regarding the saxophone and its evolution over the past 175 years. The saxophone was invented in the 1840s by a Belgian inventor named Adolf Sax, who was inspired by the inventions and innovations that his father, Charles Sax, had been making on piston trumpets, omnitonic French horns, and several other instruments like serpents and clarinets. Adolf first began his explorations in acoustics and actually studying how um, tone hole placement on instruments changed the way they sound. And thanks to that, he was able to innovate the bass clarinet and made it much easier to play and made it r much better sounding. And then following this innovation of the bass clarinet, he began exploring his own instrument known as the saxophone, which was... Um, it's thought to be commissioned by a French colonel in, from the French army who was concerned that Prussian army bands sounded better than French marching bands, military marching bands to be specific. And this French colonel felt like Adolf Sax's invention would help put French military marching bands at the same level as the Prussian marching bands. And so that's why, um, that's where Adolf Sachs actually got his first funding to move to Paris and begin his, his production. Um, along with this period of time, my research took me through the, the rest of the 19th century in, in the late 1800s, um, where music is developing and becoming a lot more commercialized, where it was a lot more common for people to have instruments in the home, and especially pianos and other smaller instruments that people could play duets with. That, that was very common in that time period. And so my research covers a lot of the music that Adolf Sachs published at his publishing house, which was part of his factory in Paris, actually. And then uh, a lot of my research centered around Elise Boyer Hall, which is right at the turn of the 20th century. Elise Boyer Hall was a Boston native saxophonist who learned how to play the saxophone after her husband's death and she grew to love the instrument with a deep deep passion and she commissioned over 20 works for the saxophone between 1898 and 1919 um, and this is particularly amazing because at this point in time, it was very difficult for female musicians to make a name for themselves and pursue music as a career. And largely due to her husband's affluence and his influence on the Boston community, he was a very successful doctor. Uh, due to those factors, it, it made it a lot easier for her to do this, but it's still a feat that is amazing in its own way. The fact that she, Elise Boyer Hall, was able to do this as a woman in this time period in a career that was very much male dominated. And to share with you from the other part of my project, my project was into two parts, was split into two parts. It was this research paper that I've been mentioning, but it was also a research based lecture recital where I performed for my degree. I got my degree credit from this recital. And on this recital, I performed works for the saxophone and I gave lectures about their historical implications and the information surrounding them. And one of those pieces, the final piece on the program was Vincent Dondy's Choral Variations or Choral Varie. And I'd like to share a clip of that with you right now. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> 